Icon, not a dead icon, but a living icon. One that is here, one that celebrates his 71st birthday on February 2nd. Let's hear it for Juno Rastafari! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight has been a dream come true for me. Because I believe in the teachers of His Imperial Majesty and the Honorable Marcus Garvey, as you can see them on the backdrop, and the teaching of Paul Bogle, our true heroes that fought, bled, and died for us. So when we have our living icon alive and well, we doesn't care about the condition that they are in mentally, but we care about the condition that they are in physically because we can fix that. We can help with love, we can help with togetherness, we can help with joy, and we can help with just our unity together coming out and help. I reach out far and wide to honor a true king, a living king. I went to South Africa and I called upon international acclaim, South African Music Award traditional album, best traditional album. Jessica Mbangini. And I said, Jessica, our icon is sick. It costs a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. But she didn't care about that. She flew for almost 20 hours, connecting flights. And guess what? Jessica Mbangini is here tonight. So give her a big, massive round of applause. Rest of our eye. I want to big up Dark Eye Marshall as well. Because Don Kyle Marshall is a Trinidadian living in Texas. And when he saw the plight of Mr. Biles, Sir Biles, he didn't hesitate. He went to the bank, took his money out, paid for his ticket, hotel, car, band rehearsal and everything. It didn't cost the Biles family anything for Don Kyle to be here. So Don Kyle Marshall, we salute him! Then in this beautiful country, we have the legendary Half Pint. When I reached out to Half Pint, I said, Mr. Pint, the man who gave us 
we are one great big family. The man who gave us greetings. And I said, Mr. Pint Jr. needs you. He didn't hesitate. Immediately he stepped forward. And that is why we gave him the position of our headliner. Because he was the first. So give Mr. R. Pine, wherever you are, sir, a big round of applause. The Prophet, the Honorable Robert Nestamali, who has taught me and taught me well. A lot of people didn't want this to work tonight because they said, it will never work, Big Stone. We ain't got no time. I said, Junior ain't got no time. We want us to do it in July or May or April. We have to do it in record month. We have to do it in Black History Month. We have to do it because Junior Ball was born the 2nd of February and has never been honored like this before. All right? So, this touches my heart. I want to present to the daughter of Juna Biles a Lifetime Achievement Award. And I would love to add, because this was not rehearsed, by none other than Jessica Mangini. I want you, Jessica, to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to the daughter of Junior Biles, a queen all the way from South Africa. Put your hands together and help Jessica Mbangini on stage. Salute a true queen, an African queen. Give us some lights on this stage. Give us some lights on this stage. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor on behalf of Big Stone Records in association with One Nation Together we salute the Honorable Babsy Grange at this time because she believed in the cause. She did not hesitate, ladies and gentlemen, and she gave us the step that has turned this into the greatest moment of Juno's life. Without further ado, I present the Lifetime Achievement Award to true living icon, Junior Chubby Biles. Daughter Christine will receive the award from Jessica. Viva! 
love you, man. The system is me, man. All your sisters love you, Janet. Love, love you. We love you. We love you. And I tell you, we some more. Universe. This is what is all about. This is what is unity. This is what is love. This is what we talk about. One day, get together. This is what we talk about. Thank you. Yeah. One more time. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love you, Judah. I love you so much. Barry Dia from Diverse Intensified Audio. I love you. Oh, yes, so oh, yes, so oh, yes, so oh, yes, you're tuned to Roots of Them 96.1 on the FM band. This is the Rootsology program, and this is our job, wealth, and health creation segment. Of course, it's a thankful Thursday. Rootsy Retro Kylie. And in studio, we have the big man, Big Stone, Claude Sinclair, and uh, he is going to be our revolutionary speaker this coming Friday at um, Conscious Reggae Party Live in Devon, Howard. You know, we, don't, we have to bring him in on this day because there's just so much to talk about uh, in terms of the music. He'll do most of that uh, tomorrow, but we know there are certain issues that we have to discuss this morning. As we say, greetings, my brother. Thank you so much for having me. Mm -hmm. It is always an honor and a privilege to share quality time with you, yes, Empress Denise Isis Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, the time, though. well, I've been extremely busy, as you know. We're working on a massive event for yeah. Reggae Month yeah. next month mm -hmm. at the Tony Spalding Stadium. Mm -hmm. The title of it is One Love Jamaica. One Love Jamaica. Yes. Oh, well, what's the date on that one? February 22nd. I'll tell you more yeah, we, after we yes, discuss we the junior bias issue because that's very, yeah, very close very to me. Important. You know, just in the week here. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was on the weekend, or sometime late last week, I saw a very disturbing video. video, mm -hmm. And I was disturbed because I, I recognized that it's not that the persons who were doing the videotaping didn't understand all They knew who, who, they seem to have known who Junior Biles was because they actually gave him money to sing, mm -hmm. you know? And giving him money to sing, and this, this icon is out there. We know he has a, a mental uh, mental issue and he does walk on the street sometimes. They gave him a thousand dollars. Right? I know you saw it, but I'm just saying this again for my, my, my viewers and listeners. And um, he sang a song and 
they, you know, they said they wanted another song because, in other words, we gave you a thousand dollars, so you should be singing another song. And I was like, what is this? And it was like something, you saw that Junior just stood there for a while and was processing everything. And then he never said in his mind, but this is so disrespectful. He just marched off. And exactly. it, he just marched off and it brought tears to my eyes. And I'm like, you know, don't do this. Don't do this. It's very disrespectful. I know you, 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 you commented on it. You, you made a Most statement definitely. on it. Talk to my, my viewers and listeners about how you're feeling as someone who's so close to the, him and his family. All right. First of all, I want to thank you so much for inviting me to speak on this issue because it touches the core of my heart. Yeah. Now I want to thank every single person out there that has made contribution to Junior Bias. Yes. We don't, we don't, we're, we're not hitting out on how much you can give. A thousand dollars, five hundred dollars Jamaican, it's okay. But then it's the manner in which you give that money and what you expect for it. Uh, when I saw the video, um, I was very touched by it because what they wanted from Junior Biles for $1,000, one person said, and the other one said $50, was for Junior to do an album. Yes, they wanted him to stand here and sing every single song that he has ever sung. And I think that is so demeaning and so disrespectful. I mean, to ask him to do one song we can understand for your video and so on, because everybody out there you know, and a lot of vloggers, you know, are hitting out and talking about the family and saying negative things and they don't know diddly squat. They don't have, any they don't have a clue. A matter of yeah. fact, most of them are just doing it for views. Mm -hmm. They don't even care about you. Exactly. exactly. Ask them like. if they have ever made any contribution mm -hmm. to Junior Biles' GoFundMe account. There's one set up by Christine Biles, mm -hmm. and his, we, his daughter, right? his daughter mm -hmm. and we thank every single person for it. Now, there's one particular blogger, I'm not going to call his name because it doesn't deserve even for me to recognize him like that. Yeah. But what he said, he said that uh, there is a promoter out there that invited Junior Biles on stage and gave him an award. And that was that promoter was trying to look some fame. Come on. That is so much of a low blow. Whoever you are, chuck off in something. I can yeah. tell you that personally. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm, I know Junior Bile from when I was a little teen. Not personally, but it's records. Know of him. Yeah, powerful music. Beat on Babylon, a place called Africa, yeah. Curly Locks, Locks, and the immortal Locks. Fade Away. Yeah. So about three years ago, I overheard something that Juno wasn't doing so well mm -hmm. mentally. And I've heard that in the great mind for many years. So I decided, as a blogger, to use my platform and I did so in a respectable manner. You certainly did. I took uh, my friend Walder and Patrick Kwame Romance along with me, mm -hmm. and we went looking for Junior Biles. You can see that video on YouTube, looking for Junior Biles, the journey of looking, finding Junior Biles. Mm -hmm. And when I found him, it was such a warm experience. He was very clean. His father's house. You found him where? At his, at, his home. Home. at his home. At his okay. home. Yeah. His father has a nice, beautiful home. I don't want to disclose the address. Mm -hmm. um, but Juno was well taken care of. He has a personal assistant. His family, Bev and Veb and everybody else who are there, they took extremely good care of Junior at that time. Right. When I met Junior, matter of fact, his How father, long ago was that? about three years ago, mm -hmm. his father was still alive, Junior by his senior. As a matter of fact, when his father died, mm -hmm. a lot of persons thought it was him who had passed on. Right. So people were announcing it, not right. realizing it was his dad. Right, because yeah. he's junior to the senior. Right, right. And um, there's that interview, too, that I spoke to Junior by his father. I spoke to his sister, and I spoke to his father. And the amount of abuse from time to time that people like those 15 minutes famous come to the gate and they want Junior Biles to do um, a dub for them and then give him a draw of herb or give him two, two cigarettes. I'm saying to myself, a draw of herb and two cigarettes to an icon of the caliber of Junior Biles. It brought tears to my eyes. And um, I said, I must do something. And I reached out to a lot of people, the 90s, the Paul Burke, the uh, Honorable Babsy Grange, because I have to bless that lady. She, as soon as I reached out to the Honorable Babsy Grange, she was there immediately. She gave us the Ronnie Williams Center free yeah. of all charges, whether electrical or cleanup or otherwise. So 
Minister Grange, if you're listening, or anyone who knows her personally, Big Stone Records want to thank her from the core of their heart for what you did for June and recognizing the icon. And um, we did a concert, and to be honest with you, everybody came out and wanted to be a part of it. Everybody. Everybody came out and wanted to be a part of it. And um, I was very happy that they, they did participate. I want to big up um, Earl okay. Chinna Smith. I want to big up my friend Earl Chinna Smith, wherever you are, Earl. Thank you very much. When I reached out to Earl, Earl came out with, with outpouring arms. He bought his band, Bingistra, and he performed for Junior that night. And it was a spiritual awakening. World of Reggae was there also all the way from the um, from the Netherlands or Europe somewhere and they videotaped, there's a video of the World of Reggae, a uh, yeah. uh, 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 compilation of the concert, Ikamos was there, Ra Deal was there, um, Dark High Marshall flew in, Horace Martin came in all the way from Canada and there was so much love being attributed to Junior Bass. And, and you know what Denise? Yeah. We did not ask Junior to perform because we know his health yeah, is so you paramount. Don't want to really take exactly, of exactly, yeah, exactly. So no. The only thing we ask Junior Bias to do, and the video is there to see for yourself, is to just say thank yeah, you. Come on, you know what I mean? So it touches my heart to hear some of these wannabe vloggers. Because they beg for views and they beg for subscription. Yeah. Big Stone don't beg for views and I don't beg for subscription. I'm a, I'm a revolutionary type of blogger. And when I do my work, if my work stands up and it is something that you appreciate, then I welcome your subscription. I welcome your likes. I welcome your thumbs up. If my work is not of such, do whatever you want. You don't have to subscribe. I don't beg for subscription. I don't beg for views. You understand me? So so when this vlogger, this this little piece of nothing, that's what I classify him. And it's a him. And I don't even want to call his name because right. it's not the, the, the way we do things. But you can check it out and you'll hear the video because they think that they're popular and they're famous and they're this and they're that. Right. Ask them. Or, or, and he said, oh, I'm crying. It hurts my heart. And I'm crying. What have you done? Yeah, what all the other criticizers? Oh, what are you doing? Or what are you doing towards like Junior Baez more than put up a video yeah. and further embarrass him by putting up this video? Because yeah, that's what you right, did. Right, yeah. If you put up that video to get a view, I I did it because I want to show the world because oh, I have done something, yeah. but I just want to show the world how disrespectful these people, yeah. yeah. so-called wannabe Jamaicans. Because if they were really Jamaicans, they would cherish the icon. They would make sure they go up and beyond the call of duty to treasure our one of the greatest singers that ever Absolutely. came out of Jamaica. Absolutely. So what's the status now? Um, um, well, I spoke to his then. daughter on yeah. a day-by-day -day basis. Um, he's getting treatment for his condition. He's suspected of having a uh, prostate cancer. Yeah, the I test see. totally are not done. It is it's an extensive procedures that they do. But Junior Biles is getting care. Junior Biles has a habit of smoking cigarettes. So from time to time, he's not crippled Denise. So from time to time, Junior Biles will just get up, walk yeah. out to where the store is, right across the street, because that's where they videotaped him. They didn't videotape him in Crossroads. They oh, didn't videotape him in downtown yes. Kingston. Yes. They're trying to make it look like Junior Biles is wandering, wandering the streets, eating out yeah. the garbage. Some, some vlogger are even saying that um, he's on drugs. You know what I mean? Just to get a few views, is that what you're capable of doing? You can put a video together? And I'm so happy that we did this show two and a half years ago. Yeah. Honoring the legend. Yeah. The trophy that Junior Bile got is made out of crystal. It is 100% crystal. That cost close to $50,000. And I did it because we want his family to know that he's worth billions of dollars. And we can do it, you know, because I couldn't do do it by myself right. you know what the i mean i did work, it with the help of yeah people yeah, just pour in and 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 and, 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 and I, I was brought to tears when i made the handover right i was brought to tears yes but um because of um how the situation is right now we, we're looking at setting up the foundation properly and yes. the daughter's working okay. on that matter okay. of fact 
I will bring her to you. She's yes. coming in very shortly for Good. his birthday, uh, which is the 2nd of February. Right. And she's going to make some announcements. And they're trying to get money in uh, um, to help him with his condition. Right. There is a GoFundMe account that is set up. Please give it a, give it a Reggae Superstar Junior Biles GoFundMe account. All right, say it again. Reggae Superstar Junior Biles GoFundMe account. If you type that in, you take you straight. And we want to thank. It's almost close to five thousand US dollars. We yeah. want to thank everyone because we want these little so callers to understand that people are working behind the scenes. We're not exploiting Junior. That's I don't right, want nothing right. from Denise Isis Miller. Don't want nothing from Junior Bias. We work because we're community uh, activists. We believe in uplifting and motivating and bringing our community to the world. And I've been doing that for the last twenty-five years. That's why you're our revolutionary speaker tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, so exactly. So sure. thank yeah. you for that invite. It's just a yeah. platform for me to vent my feelings. I'm not angry because what the negative have done is bring more recognition yeah, to, the to the situation. And yeah. people who really genuinely love Junior Biles, they will continue to support him, and continue to listen. And, and we're like, oh, this is the man that's not growing up. Oh exactly. Yeah, exactly. Those who don't know, absolutely. So, um, you've been in the business for 25 years. 25 yes, years. 20 something, almost yeah. 30 years. Yeah, and um, this is Reggae Month here. There's mm -hmm. a big event. Tell okay. us a bit more about that event that's coming up for Reggae Month. Okay, mm -hmm. I can tell you real quickly, Denise. Last year we have seen over 1,326, mm -hmm. over 1,400 people killed mm -hmm. in this beautiful country. I love my country. I gave up my green card. I gave up living a life of luxury in the United States of America. You know why? Because John F. Kennedy says, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So with the knowledge of mass of the Honorable Marcus Garvey, the right Honorable Marcus Garvey has taught me well. And I said to myself, with the teaching of Mr. Garvey, I'm coming back to Jamaica to recognize one of the greatest human beings that ever walked on the planet Earth. So what I did was I invite Dr. Julius Garvey in 2012. He came again in 2013. We went overseas and we bought N. Cassinati Biko, the son of Steve Bantu Biko. We bought Dr. Yes. Pastor Ray Higgins. We didn't keep them to ourselves. We shared them yes. with the great radio station of IRFM. Yes. Yes. And I take this opportunity to big up Kabo wherever Kabul you are. You are my, you're, you don't understand how much I love you, Kabo. And Muta Maruka, yes. thank you so much, Muta, for the work that you've done in keeping the name of the Honorable Marcus Garvey alive. So with that, this concert was done 42 years ago. It was done on April 22nd at the National Stadium, and it was Bob Marley's One Love Concert. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference between that Bob Marley One Love Concert and this One Love Jamaica concert that we're having is Bob Marley's concert was politically motivated. There was a political fight in war and peeing, peeing, jail, peeing, people were killing each other, left, right, and center. This is not a political war we're fighting among ourselves right now. We're fighting an individual war. So what we're doing, we're not, it is not a peace concert because we didn't create this war. It is not a unity concert because we didn't create the division either. Mm -hmm. It is a one love concert because we know that the foundation, if it's love, then peace and unity will prevail. We have taken steps and we have confirmed international motivational speaker, William King Alice. He's only 30 years old, but why he is so important is his mother died of a heroin overdose. His father is in prison for triple homicide. He used to eat and sleep from the garbage and sleep at the busway, the subways, and every other place you can think of. And he used the teaching of Marcus Garvey, ah, self-reliance, do for self. And because he used the teaching of Marcus Garvey, he is now one of the top motivational speakers in the United States of America. I can tell you this, his fee is 20,000 US dollars to speak. And when I spoke with William King Alice, a fraction, I'm talking about pennies, just to cover certain, you know, um, yeah, that's it. But other than that, he waived 99% of the fee just to come to Jamaica to raise the kings and queens and to raise the yeah. consciousness. 
because my sister Denise, I believe Zosa is not working, and we all know. We know the uh, our state of emergency is not working. So we know that those forces are not working. But we have never tried the good old-fashioned love. Let's get back to love. They're Let's bring this fire love. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and also, yeah. one more thing, but yeah. quickly, we also, your friend, Jessica M. Bangini. <laughs> M. Bangini's going to be here. She's going to be here, Woo! definitely. Matter of fact, she's going to be in Jamaica for the Bob Marley uh, uh, sixth birthday anniversary, okay, there, center yes. fifth. Yes. And then she's going to fly back to the United States, and then she's going to be back here in Whoa. Jamaica for the One Love Jamaica concert. So, I'll Jessica you, Mbangini, wherever you are, William King Alice, we love you, man. Jamaica love you. We stand ready, and we await the arrival of the king and the queen. Yes, what a royal affair. Most but definitely. But then you have other artists who are performing as well. Yes. Name some of those artists who are going to be there for this one love. Sister Denise, we spoke to King Yellowman. Yes. And King Yellowman is an household name. Every single Jamaican know him. Mm -hmm. And when we spoke to him about what's happening with our country, man, tears rolled down his face. Mm -hmm. He said, Big Stone, I'll practically do it because I have performed in Arnett Gardens when I was a young performer ah, and sound system, yes, but yes. I never get an opportunity to perform on a stage. Concert. So this yeah. concert is headlining by none other than King Yellowman. Wow. And then, of course, Freddie McGregor. Mm. Freddie McGregor is joining force yes. with Powerhouse because Powerhouse, I, I can't big him up enough, George Pang from the Garden was instrumental in helping us to acquire the stadium. Mm. And it's not a political thing, but I must big up um, the MP for the area, Mr. Mark Golden. Yes. When we present the idea of a One Love concert in the Garden, he welcomed it right. with so open it, arms. Yes. Of course, of course, something so positive. Then we have Meaningful. Peter Metro. Yeah, long time with Peter Metro. Mikey yes. General. Yes, yes. Ever burning torch. Uh, a newcomer that is taking this country by storm, mm -hmm. Bertus, you know, Nature Ellis, yes, Sativa, yes. the black That's one. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? That this concert, is. Denise, is free of all charges. You are kidding me. Not a dollar. We just want you to come in and yes, support um, the food and the bars yes, and so on. Yes. Because the proceeds from this concert is going right back into the community. Exactly. I'm not exactly. taking a dime from this. Yes. I'm putting in my service because I am a Jamaican, 100%, and not just to look views, <laughs> but put in the work. Everybody looking views. Yeah, man, with up on the ground, I put in the work. Just like yes. for you on the ground, yes, I man. put in the work. Absolutely. So it's another reggae month. Uh, Phenomena. Event. And to me, it looks like it's going to be an annual event for it. Most it's definitely, fun. most definitely. Yeah. And then we'll move it from different communities to different mm. communities. While um, William King Alice will be in Jamaica, he'll be visiting a number of other communities. Mm -hmm. One of the communities you know that you will... You got to bring him here. Cobra most Garden. definitely, Who's most there? definitely. Right. <laughs> he's going to visit the community of Tivoli Gardens. Ah, beautiful. Particularly Rasta City. Yes. The foundation of Rastafari. Yes. And he's so uh, 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 enthused. I have to big up Razzle Dazzle, wherever you oh, are. Razzle Dazzle, bless up yourself. Razzle Dazzle is instrumental in this, so we big up Mr. Razzle Dazzle yes, anywhere yes, you are. Yes. Dilly from Denham Town, big up because we're going to be going through these communities. South side, different, different powerful, areas. Powerful, you know powerful, what I mean? Yes. A pain land. So it's going yes. to be a joy. Mm -hmm. A joy just to have him here yes. and sharing his experience with Jamaican and with people. Jessica. Oh my God. What? That's really the king, the of, king, the king of the queen. <laughs> you know how she is already. It's going to be really amazing. Yakamu. Yeah, Yakamu. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky to see her. I'm she so excited about that. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank mama. you so much. For the great work you've been doing over thank the years. Thank you. You know, we really salute you. It's a thankful thank Thursday, you. and we thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. And it's an honor for me to do it. It's like nothing. Yeah. It's, it's If I don't do something for my country every single day, it, it takes away from me. Yeah. And I'm not a young man. I'll be 63 years old come July 3rd. Wow. But I believe yes, that if we do for self, if we start loving each other, you know what I mean? The more on the Dokono kind of love, the blue dress type of love, the whole ginger kind of love, the saril kind of love, you know what I mean? The Aki and Sa, this kind of love. 
I don't kind of love the one and get back to them love them and the Asham. You remember Asham? Asham kind of love. I didn't care. It's not gone away. We want to take time out also and big up Little Lenny. You remember? Chi, Chi, Chi got it. Little Lenny is a tremendous force. He's supporting us 100%. So, Little Lenny, wherever you are, man, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support. Not just financially, but morally. You know, and there are a lot of other people that support. I want to big up my friend Carl Anderson from Mystic Plaza. He's down there on Agri Park Road with oh, Wapping oh, yeah, Stadium. Right. Yeah. So Carl Anderson, big up yourself, man. He's a tremendous tower mm -hmm. of strength for me. And um, he has assisted us in times gone by with Shanika Anderson. You remember that little six year old girl? Mm -hmm. 14 years now, and we have not heard anything in regards to a killer or killers. There's also another 10-year-old little boy by the name of Courtney Walker yeah. that has been murdered 10 years ago, stabbed over 57 uh, times, sodomized. Both of these children were sodomized, one 14 years old, one 14 years ago and one uh, 10 years ago. And the killers are still roaming the streets. So we appeal to Jamaicans to look out for what with them. They're yeah. our children. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you pay attention. I'm an informer for child <laughs> molester. <laughs> They them say, them say, but that's what, kill Big Stone there. It can never talk. If yeah, you see your yeah. melody in a little picnic, yeah, or, or take picnic. a little picnic on the picnic, even if it's your parent, and we see the child is in a, an uncomfortable situation, yes. make we check it out and find I'm out. Walk yeah, walk yeah, walk on. It's yes. better safe yes. than sorry. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? We have to. We have to take it up. It's like, it's if we don't do it, who's going to do it? Exactly. We, have, we can't depend on government for this. No. As era leaders, we have to, as individuals, do what we have to do. Most definitely. Because community activists. I want to big up on the mother of Shanika Anderson, Ruth Green. Mm -hmm. Hang in there, Ruth. Ruth, we love you so much. We love your daughter, 14 years now. I'm still there with you. Roma Taylor, all the way in, in, in St. Thomas. Bamba River, we love you then. We still love you now. We know closure must come one day. Yes, yes. Trust me. We just have to be persistent and we just have to keep going and keep these children in our prayers and in our hearts and in our minds and support whatever cause that comes forward. It is so sad. I want to, I want to shout out, yeah, I want to shout out to Javine Campbell. She recently buried her little son, Benjamin Bear. Remember the garbage truck that overtook? We did an extensive funeral, uh, 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 what you call it, we interviewed a lot of people who covered the funeral from start to finish right. and people from all over the world come in with gifts to Jafine and whoever, Rome or Roma Taylor, she needs help. She's sick since the killing of her son. Right. You know what I mean? Ruth Green is not so doing so well do. either. Yeah. So we thank you for so this platform. I'm, I'm happy that you're able to come and also remind us also, because a lot of times these things happen, you mm -hmm. become a nine-day wonder, and nobody remembers about it. Exactly. And these people are, I mean, the, the parents or the family members are indeed suffering, True. the community is suffering. So True. we like updates as to what thank is taking place in our community, and we also want solutions as well. We have thank to you. Make sure we have solutions as well. Thank you. So thanks again, my brother. Thank you so much. Big Stone, Claude Sinclair in the house. As a last minute reminder, February 22nd, Black History Month, Reggae Month, mm -hmm. at the Tony Spalding Stadium in Arnold Garden, One Love Jamaica. Let's bring One Jamaica, love Jamaica back Jamaica. to love. Yes. Thank you for having me. I love you so Thank much, you. ladies. Love you too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right here on 96.1.